This video is about obesity treatment that has been recognized as breakthrough of the year 2023. As we all know, obesity is a major public health problem across the world. No cure or treatment available till last year. However, the year 2023 is leaving a hope for successful treatment of obesity. This invention is so impressive that world top-ranked journal science recognized this treatment as groundbreaking invention of the year. The name of the medicine is glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist. We will explain it to you in simplistic term what this is and how it controls the obesity. Now, first about what is glucagon-like peptide 1? It is a hormone having 30 amino acids and it is secreted by the gut mainly in the intestine and colon that activate insulin production so the glucose may be utilized in the body. This usually happens when we take when we have food intake. How it does this job? It interacts with its receptor that is that is called as GLP-1 receptor. GLP-1 receptor is present in different body organs, you name it, brain, liver, stomach, muscle, gut, adipose tissue, and pancreas, as well as in heart. This GLP-1 interacts with its receptor that is known as GLP-1 receptor, and like in muscles, it enhances the insulin sensitivity. It enhances the glucose uptake, that is a major problem in type 2 diabetes, as we all know. Uh, in adipose tissues, what it does, I mean, when this GLP-1 is interacting with its receptor, it enhances lipolysis. It, what, what happened with lipolysis, like, I mean, this lipid burns, lipogenesis, no more lipid formation, it reduced that one, and it also reduced fat mass. Uh, and similarly, like uh, in brain, there is a lot more benefits of this one. You talk about heart and you talk about other, other body organs. This GLP-1 interaction with its receptor is a beneficial phenomena. Now, what, what happened in the absence of active GLP-1, its agonist activate the GLP-1 receptor leading to insulin secretion and rest of the function for glucose utilization as I have explained to you over here. So, I mean, I use the word agonist. So, I mean, now I will be sharing with you what these agonists are and how they work. The agonists, they are basically like the, I mean, if we call something as GLP-1 receptor agonist, it means that it is doing the job of act like GLP-1. I mean, it will be like GLP-1 interacts with its receptor and lead to like insulin secretion. Uh, I mean, all the other uh, like function that we have dis discussed. So agonist will be doing the same job that GLP-1 is doing. Uh, now, there are a number of uh, names that are used for this GLP-1 agonist. The first one is glucagon-like peptide 1 agonist. Then there is an, another one, GLP-1 receptor agonist. Uh, Increate in mimetics, GLP-1 analogs. So, I mean, in the simplistic definition is that agonist interacts with receptor to produce a desired biological response. Now, if we are talking about type 2 diabetes, we know it that in type 2 diabetes, cells do not respond to insulin. And here it goes, uh, once uh, either GLP-1 or the agonist means that function like GLP-1, it enhances the insulin sensitivity, it increases the glucose uptake, and that is a treatment for type 2 diabetes. And if we go into the history of GLP-1 agonist, 
the first one is axenatide yes axenatide is first glp1 receptor isolated from saliva of lizard found in arizona usa it's a fascinating story that i will be telling you sometime but i would like to share with you the us fda food and drug administration approved axenatide for the treatment of type 2 diabetes in april 2005 now after almost uh, uh, like uh, from 2005 to if we consider today like after 18 years there are a number of glp1 receptor agonist i mean i will mention over here few like the first one is uh, uh, by elilely zebbound uh, it's used for obesity and weight management and if you remember i have shown you that i mean when this glp1 receptor interacts with its uh, uh, when glp1 interacts with its receptor it lead to lipolysis mean lipid breakdown take place a no more lipid form so that is the mechanism operating over here there is a second medicine that is a secunda i mean this is also being used for weight loss the same mechanism and the fascinating is two products by uh, novo nordisk the first one is vagovi and this its uh, composition it's comprises of semaglutide and it's used for weight management and the same compound ozempic like i mean it's used for type 2 diabetes so what i want to share with you like these glp1 receptor glp1 receptor agonist or glp1 agonist they were initially used for type 2 diabetes and for a very very long time no one was aware that they can be used for the treatment of obesity as here is a, an interesting study i mean rather a couple of studies that i would like to share with you i mean this study i mean that was published in uh, to, uh, 2021 in new england journal of medicine and its title is once weekly semaglutide in adults with overweight or obesity there were 2000 total obese adults who participated in this study and after 68 weeks it was observed that uh, almost uh, like uh, one half uh, they showed 15% reduction in their body weight uh, and uh, one third of them uh, like i mean uh, also showed 20% reduction in their body weight if we look at the control the people who were not taking semaglutide uh, they basically i mean the weight reduction i mean because they were also managing it to food and everything all other thing there were only 2.4% reduction with that one then another interesting study came out that is like i mean in 2023 it said the glp1 agonist reduces obesity and associated complications so obesity itself is a disease but it has a several other complications also and that was a good news that came out uh, through a number of studies in 2023 that glp1 agonists not only reduce the obesity rather they are also overcoming the complications like cardiovascular disease disorder in other ailments which are linked with the obesity so considering this one uh, the world top ranked journal as i shared with you science recognize this invention or uh, this uh, discovery breakthrough of the year 2023 uh, i mean we know it glp1 agonist was initially described in 2005 for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and now they will be utilized for obesity also in the year 2024 we have a great hopes that obesity treatment or obesity control will be available and it will move forward thank you for watching this video and wishing you all a happy and healthy new year on behalf of biomed global institute